Oh dear! Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And we um, we have a problem here. Um, Sasha from the UK has sent me fan mail um, for my project. I kind of I think I know what most of this is, but it's big, heavy boxes. Each of these boxes are 30 kilograms. So he sent me a total of 60 kilograms of um, stuff. So yeah. Let's go see what he sent, because I haven't seen it yet, and I'm bloody curious. Uh, for once, I didn't open this, because um, yeah, I thought it would be very unhandy to, uh, to move it up here to my playhouse, um, if it was open and all over the place. But let's see what this is. Okay, I think we need one at a time. Cool. And I'm here, so let's open this too. And Sasha in the UK, he has a uh, telecom company which uh, makes uh, uh, voice over IP. Uh, I'll be sure to link the link of his business in the description. So, I uh, the cardboard box pressed a button behind up there. That wasn't meant to be. Oh, there is a lot of this bubble wrap and inside here oh you can't see there are hot drives oh I do hope these fits Seagate one terabyte oh 1000 gigabyte drives oh these are not exactly the same hmm will these fit we're definitely gonna check that but the box is full of hard drives. They also have this weird print on the back, um, which I reckon is a is converter from um, ordinary SATA discs and to SAS discs. I see that it's a mix of Hitachi and Seagate drives. There is a lot of wrapping here. So let's get that one out of here. And we might as well just open the other one. There. And I have to remember to bring the kitchen knife back into the kitchen. I'm guessing this is the same procedure. A lot of wrapping, 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 wrapping. Drives. Oh, these are individually wrapped. Seagate, one terabyte. I'll do these. Okay, that's a nice thumbnail. So in total, there are 48 one terabyte drives here. So 48 terabytes of uh, storage here. Uh, one drive. Um, it's not doing too great. This button is broken, so it, it won't lock into place. I'm a bit... Um, yeah, okay, it might actually be okay, but I'm a bit afraid if this goes in there and it could, could stick out and I would not be able to open the box because of a bad uh, thinky. I'll check that, but I have to check if these trays will fit in the box. And to do that, I do think that I need to remove this uh, print on the back first to make that happen at all. Hmm, yeah, screwdriver. 
Okay, I just realized this this looks weird. It doesn't look like it's uh, it's for SAS discs. It looks more like it's for converting this to a fiber optic disc. Uh, I do not hope that it's a fiber optic disc inside. It is a SATA disc. <laughs> kind of converts the drive from acting like a SATA disc probably to a fiber channel disc. Hmm. So, but now we have this. Will this go in? Hmm. So this tray MDL is kind of the also um, the tray thingy. So let's um, let's try and open up here. It's gonna be very noisy when I do that. And see um, if that will go in there. I think that has to be a no-go. It's not the right tray for the job. Ah, oh, that's a bloody shame. Let's have one out here. Yeah, these trays look like this. With the metal thing in the bottom. So there is also a difference in, um, in size here. So the drive that Sasha sent me is longer than the drives that fits in there. And the fiber optic connections to bring light to the front of the drive is also different. So yeah, that's, ah, that's a shame. So this is a bloody shame. I was really looking forward to uh, popping in 48 drives in that Hewlett Packard storage uh, DAS. And, uh, but now that we have it out, I'm actually curious to see how this is formatted. If I would be able to put this in my computer. So I think we'll borrow one of the drives and just check if it just pops up in Windows. So I'm gonna unscrew this. So I see. Um, they have went out of their ways to put in three screws in this disc on each side. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be a job. Oh, they also have rubber thingies to prevent Hmm, this is probably pretty well made actually. So there are some rubber thinkies here to prevent how do you, what do you call that? Movement? Shock observers? Vibrations. Rubber thinkies to prevent vibrations. Awesome. Let's go to the computer and see if this shows up. Okay, here we are. We have the drive and we have my Weird little setup for connecting a disc here. I uh, should probably get some kind of a cradle. This works though. Um, taken out of a transportable hard drive. Let's see if it pops up. It seems like it doesn't like that drive much. So I just get some kind of a beep code here. Mm. Probably an error code of some kind. Let's unplug it and plug it in again. Absolutely nothing. Okay, it could be a bad drive. Let's try another one. Let's. This is a Seagate. We could just try and hit touch you one. Okay. I was confused if maybe my, my little circuit board here had broken, but I popped in an, a drive, not one of the new ones, but one I had laying around that um, I was messing with last time. 
that was the drive that really didn't want to work but in here at the computer it pops up just fine this is a two terabyte drive it's it's this one down here so the contraption works okay so i'm gonna unplug this so here is um i have unscrewed a one terabyte hitachi drive from out there so we're gonna try and pop that in here oh that spins up And it said bibbly boo. It did not pop up though. Hmm. So the other one must have been defect. Okay, I just checked in disk part here and it um, it only shows my old 120 gigabyte SSD. There is no other drive uh, present. So this is a bloody shame that um, Sasha sent all of this good stuff over and the trays doesn't work and apparently there is also some kind of weird firmware on here probably from Hewlett Packard because it's it's a Hewlett Packard uh, branded drive that came out of a Hewlett Packard uh, storage box apparently a box that was running um, as fiber channel discs I think that is what this thing does uh, or maybe they're just converting to some weird plug so that no one else can supply this yeah it's a shame i have been emailing sasha to ask if he uh, if he wants all of these drives back because it doesn't seem like i'm gonna have much of a use for them uh, the drives themselves might be able to format them over to be regular drives i have no idea if that would work or if it's worth the effort they are only one terabyte drives they are really a few terabytes short of being really interesting to work with. I would really like some four terabyte drives instead to uh, play around with. Unfortunately, right now, the biggest drives I have to, to mess around with is two terabyte drives. And well, these one terabyte drives would, well, they are big enough to be a little bit of fun. But yeah, if there are gonna be that much work, uh, the fun is um, doubtful. So yeah, that's a bloody shame, but Thank you very much to Sasha for trying to send me something awesome. This time it didn't work as great, but he has really sent some awesome stuff in the past. So thank you very much and thank you all for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.